field. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. I'll tell you what, that Joe Biden, he was losing the plot, wasn't he? Eh? Eh? Uh, I should tell you that immediately after that in interesting contribution to international public discourse, the host of the event said that officials in Springfield had made it absolutely clear there are no reports whatsoever of people in, in Springfield eating cats or, or dogs. I nearly said cats and dogs, but cats or dogs. Um, Trump insisted that he had, and I quote, seen it on TV. <laughs> Eating the dog, they're eating the cats. Eat the cat, eat the cat, eat the cat. they're eating the cat. <laughs> Happy Saturday, <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Seen and Heard podcast, where everyone should be, everyone should be seen and heard. And my lovely co-host Chrissy, we hello, we have marked the pets around our area safe yes <laughs> the dogs and the cats are safe oh my goodness so that was the follow-up of uh trump's disastrous uh debate performance which he's now crying and saying he does not want to do which we well, know he's not crying he said he had two successful debates already that he's won he said he won that one and he won the one before, so he don't think he need another one. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, he oh, my it. goodness. And uh, I, I want to start off also by apologizing to the Haitian community, personally for myself, because, yes, as funny as it was at first, I was actually laughing as defense mechanism because it was just so, so shocking to me that this person would say this out loud on national television and the the national media is still giving him the benefit of the doubt and, and making excuses for it. I mean, how, how, how do you feel about like after the fact? I mean, I mean it, it's like, what can you say? It, it's ridiculous. The problem is with, the problem with the media is if they only show one side of something, you know, then you have his followers, his cult members who are claiming that they have witnessed it, you know, with no proof, but they're claim. So that's why it's continuing to be like a thing. It's going to, it's going to forever be a thing because every time somebody debunks it, there's going to be one of his cult members that be like, no. And then they're acting on, whatever he says and it's only especially in springfield it's only getting worse like they said the, the schools had to shut down so that i mean the media is going to continue to give it attention because of that and and that's a, like part of the reason why I'm, I'm apologizing to the haitian community because i was laughing at first like i said because i was shocked but then the more you know time that goes on it's like these people this is real world consequences for someone that's not being held accountable for his words and actions. That, Trump and J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance, that's that's his area, Ohio. And he's putting his the, the citizens in his area in, in danger. I, I mean, well, I hope they learn and I hope they don't I mean at this point Vote accordingly. That's yeah, yes, yes. Accordingly. That's a nice way to say it. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> accordingly. We're not telling anybody who to vote for. We're just saying vote accordingly. Mm -hmm. So next on the docket is uh, there's a little spat going on uh, in MAGA world between Marjorie Taylor Green and uh, Laura Loomer. So... Let me uh, play this little clip here of Miss uh, Loomer. Like, I, I really didn't know who she was or what she was about. Uh, but here I'm learning uh, in real time who this is. So let me play this real quick. 
like the way they talk and their little DEI Shaniqua voices, and it, it's just very piercing, very irritating sound. They all have the, they all have the same voice. I'm talking about Kamala Harris, uh, Letitia James, and Fannie Willis. Like all of the like meritless DEI Shaniquas talk the same way. It's very obnoxious the way that they talk. Like the way they talk and their little DEI Shaniqua voices, and it, it's just very piercing, very irritating sound. They all have the, they all have the same voice. I'm talking about Kamala Harris. Uh, Letitia James and Fanny Willis. So and is, she to, is she trying to say they sound like how she talks? Do you want to play a game? How did you, she, did you hear how she did, but, but did you hear how she talked? They all she sounds very nasally. They all have the same talk, and I'm talking about Kamala Harris. Like she sounds very nasally. And, and not only that, I I just you know the the. They ha they have no sense of self reflection. Like she has the nerve, and then obviously there's a you know the the white privilege. Just call it what it is, because that's yeah. what it is. Because nobody else would be able to get away with the behaviors of her and Marjorie Taylor Greene and 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 she has the nerve trying to i was actually trying to find the clip of the comment that she made let me pull this up here but so yeah so collard greens and curry compared to no seasonings i mean but well, not even no seasoning. Like I said, but, but i mean how about body odor they 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 boast about not showering every day and the no washcloths and the, they don't even wash their feet so i mean who is she to talk so, so if this all started when uh kamala harris posted a video of a picture on her account as as a young girl visiting my grandparents in india my grandfather took me on the morning walk where he would discuss importance of uh fighting for civil rights so then laura luma decides to uh, to retweet saying if Kamala wins, the White House will smell like curry and White House speeches will be, uh, yeah, White House speeches will be facilitated via a call center and the American people will only that be able to convey their feedback through customer service satisfaction survey at the end of the call that no one will understand. Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene decided that she was going to respond to that by shockingly saying this is appalling and extremely racist it does not represent who we are as republicans or maga this does yes. not represent president trump this type of behavior should not be tolerated like no self-reflection whatsoever um you know, to, to say it to say it does not represent donald trump let him say it himself because he won't i want to see who's yeah. let him choose a side between these two people fighting his people let him choose a side He's not going to, because if he's because he agrees with what this woman says, uh -huh. but then if he says Marjorie is wrong, then it's going to be like, oh, so you do think of a, you know what I mean? So he 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 know he's stuck between a rock and a hard place with this fight. So he probably going to sit this one out. That's what he said. On his business. That's what he said when uh, someone asked him. At his little, his small little gathering, because it wasn't really a rally, but his his small little gathering. Someone asked him about Laura Loomer, and he 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 was <laughs> he's like, oh, I don't know who she is. Um, he, I'm trying to find the uh, the clip oh, here. So you're already I'm sitting this one out about her. Yeah, he he's he's trying to toe the line, but but he honestly doesn't know what's going on. So that's even even troubling in itself because he, if you don't realize what's going on in your your orbit, and you're trying to run for the highest office in the country, that's not responsible. We don't want somebody that's not gonna you know know what's going on around them. Yeah, and that, for obvious reasons. But the people that continue to support him are stuck stuck on in my opinion or se in several other people's opinion it's the racism at point blank period it's the racism 
yeah there there's no other excuse for it so apparently he's been spending a lot of time so our next podcast i will have that pulled that i apologize for that uh, i'll have that pulled up the clip where he's wait here it is right here um oh i will pull it up right now <laughs> so <laughs> i found it okay here we go the universe said uh-uh wait hold up <laughs> campaign i'm not sure why you asked that question but laura is a supporter i don't control laura laura has to say what she wants she's a she's a free spirit well i don't know i mean look i can't tell laura what to do laura's a supporter I have a lot of supporters uh but i so i don't know what uh, exactly you're referring to it, that's okay did he just swap them off yeah, he's just like, you know, okay, enough of, with that that question, you know, like he, he gets caught basically with his pants. He, the emperor has no clothes. <laughs> and he gets caught, you know, back into a corner and he just starts swatting everybody away. I noticed that's yeah. like a, a tick of his or something. He's, he's done that to like black reporters, especially. Uh, when he when he was squatting squatting in the White House, he had a habit of doing that when they were asking him questions at the when he was I getting mean, on the helicopter or whatever. Or like the clip that the the compilation clip where in it it's compilations of multiple reporters talking to him, but the and he's brushing them off or telling them their question is stupid, whatever it is. Uh -huh. But the one black reporter in that compilation, he said he started saying, "You people." And then he stopped and then he said, you, you, and like he paused for a second and was like, you, you media, you always blah, blah, blah. No, you meant you people, you knew you, you looked at her, you saw she was black and she's asking you a question that you don't like, or trying to ask you a question and making comments that you don't like. And the first thing to come out your mouth is you people. And that is a known dog whistle statement. That, but that's a known statement only said to black people. Uh -huh. Everybody who says you people are when it's when the races are talking to us. You people, that's exactly what it's about. And we will close out on that note with uh, a clip to remind fellow BIPOC and POC people that if you uh, would like to be a part of the show, we'll have links in the description box that um, you you can send us your voicemail questions or make comments. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of the show, uh, Seen and Heard podcast, where everyone should be seen and heard, we'd like to hear from you. Uh, if you'd like to support us, we have merchandise. We have donation links. We're in the middle of a fundraiser and we have one major fund uh, supporter uh, ABL Realty. I'd like to give a shout out to ABL Realty and YSL Nails over Ooh. in my area. My jail nails. <laughs> and so we are going to close out. And I will have links to the article that you can read about the comments that Laura Loomer made about Kamala, Vice President Kamala Harris. And on that note, Christy, your your last words. Oh my God, I'm caught. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> your lovely hair. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love yours too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We are being seen and heard. How about that? Let's there close up being seen and heard. <laughs> thank you. Thank from you, New York. everybody, for joining seen and heard us. From and New York. We are going to close out on this last clip. Okay. <laughs> I can say this. Uh, we will do large deportations from Springfield, Ohio. Large deportations. We're going to get these people out. We're bringing them back to Venezuela. Uh, I can say this. Uh, <laughs>